Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco Community Server Let's Play. This is where I'm playing with my viewers on our server. We got a good group here, everything's going well. Uh, just got a big episode today, uh, a lot of updates. I uh, I streamed the game on Twitch today, so if you, if you missed that, uh, you can go to my Twitch and check out the VOD for the next 14 days at least. If you're watching this far in the future, I apologize, but I will update everyone on what happened today. The big thing, of course, was we hit iron. Finally, in our iron mine. My, oh my God, I want to smooth these out, these stupid gaps. Drive me nuts. So we're, we hit iron, and we we, uh, we mine some iron. Mine this out for some temporary uh, tailing storage. And I'm filling that way faster than I thought I would. Uh, in my single-player game, I... I mean, I shot down the meteor, and I think I'd filled three and... Like almost four. I had three full and I was working on my fourth. Um, I was talking to Purple and he and Goose have already filled ten, I think. So anyway, this is my temporary solution. Um, there's no pollution showing up on the map yet here. So obviously it's not a huge rush. But my plan for the tailings was I was going to dig I was gonna come out a little further, not about here, and I was gonna dig down and this way. And I shouldn't have to dig super deep. Um in order to get down deep enough that this will count for, uh, you know, for being under. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to go too far. If I just dig this way to about here, I would say that should be deep enough. Maybe, possibly. I mean, there's no pollution here yet, but it, there will be eventually, I'm sure. Uh, but that's So that's on the list of things to do, for sure. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to clear out a little area up here. So obviously the other thing I did today is I set up the bloomery. I went and saw Glub Glub for some coal. But the other thing I want to do is I want to clear this out. I want more storage. I want well, I want more air, more area for my smelting operation because eventually I'm going to replace this and this with bigger pieces of equipment. Or well, this one at least will be bigger. This one's, I don't know if it's much bigger, but I want to replace them. Anyway, this needs to be replaced with a blast burner, which is much bigger. And then I will need to set up uh, a water pump and a waste pump and all that. So I'm going to need more space. So I'm going to have to clear all this out. Um, actually, I, I'd like to clear out the whole area under my hips, honestly. So like, I'm here right now. So I'm under part of my house, but I'd like to clear out the whole thing. So like I got a stockpile underneath my kitchen to help store my meat because my meat storage is still relatively full. Uh, so I've been crushing up the sandstone I've been getting and Glub Glub's been coming to pick it up and he's been using it to make to make roads. He is our primary road maker now. Uh, JD, I think, is still doing some. Uh, I think he set up a, a an automatic uh, asphalt machine setup. I can't use it, but if you're an engineer, you can just go and put in your stuff and it spits out asphalt roads or something. I don't know. I'll have to go check it out later. Um, one other thing I did today on stream is I went up, I went up, well, remember I claimed this because I was going to put oil there, but Rose Beat Farm's there, so uh, he beat me to it. It's all good. So what I'm going to do instead is here. I claimed out here because there's good oil right there. Uh, let's see. There's some good oil right here, so but it's in the water, so we'll have to do like a, make a little platform, and then I'll set up my refining probably over here. I don't want to be too close to Row because he's got farms and stuff, right? So I, I'll put it this way a little bit so it doesn't pollute uh, his stuff, preferably. So that's the plan there, and I am how clear now? One day, nine hours, so it's really two days. Ish. It'll, it's a day and a half because that's it's going to hit during the middle of the night for me so you know it's not going to be ideal but it's fine so let's yeah let's crush some more sandstone here so those are the two big goals today uh two things i want to accomplish i uh, try to keep the store stocked i bought a bunch of lumber off sea guns so i'm not hurting for lumber anymore maybe we'll cut down some more trees uh, uh, we're going to go on a little server tour at some point tonight and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So it should be a fun episode. I'll be back with an update soon. So I came up out of my mine, and I happened to notice Asphalt Road coming down. Glub Glub's been busy. This is awesome. 
so much better than a stone road. I'm really excited. I'm glad too, because like they started bringing the stone road my way, and I was like, no, go go the other way. There's more people to the west, so they did, and now I get an asphalt road first, so it kind of works out. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I've been hooking Glub Glub up with quite a bit of uh, all this crushed stone. He's been coming and taking and turning it into the asphalt and stuff. So that's my contribution to that. So I contributed, and that's the important thing. Anyway, if you're uh, if you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in joining the server, uh, join my Discord. The links in the description down below. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, yeah, commercial over. It's time to get back to work here. I need to make an anvil. I need hewn logs. I'm sure I have some. There we go. Because um, Sea Guns needs a pick. So in order to make a pick, I need an anvil. So it's going to be eight minutes. But we will uh, we'll make uh, Sea Guns a pick. And uh, we're really go it away, dear. God. And I'm curious to see what else is we can make on the anvil. So that will be soon. I will be back. Oh, I just realized, now, this is depending on how I decide to do it, but my, um, my tailing storage, I'm kind of debating how I want to do it. I was going to use ramps, was my original plan. If, I was, if I'm going to use ramps, then I need dirt. Unless I want to go stone ramps, but probably not. So I'm going to just grab this dirt, so Glub Glub doesn't have to. He comes back, he can just drop in his roads. I don't think he's using the dirt for anything. I, I doubt it anyway. But I'm tempted to try something different for my tailing storage. So I was over at um, Purple Goose's tailing storage today, and they went with something not ramp related. Uh, so I might... Mm, I was tempted to try that. I'm going to go... Uh, let's move this out of the way. Actually, let's... I'm going to grab a, few, a bit more of this gonna put it over in the stockpile i'm gonna queue up some ramps uh, i may or may not end up using them obviously depending on what strategy i go for for my tailing storage the fact that it's not even it's not polluting yet and it's been up there for well it's been up there for most of the day at this point finds me to believe i don't need to go super deep for my tailing storage but i don't know my single player game is not a good indicator i had no issues with uh, ground pollution for tailing storage and that but like I said, we're, I'm going to generate a lot more tailings in this one than I did in that. So, anyway, so I'm going to bring this over, queue up some ramps, and then I'm going to uh, run over to Thomas. Purple Goose. Nice. And we'll take a look at that. All right, I'm over at Purple Goose's place. I'm going to show off their uh, cool idea for tailing storage. So you come down here. And down, and down, and down. It gets exciting, I swear. So here's a stockpile. Okay. So what they do is they drop the tailings down, or they bring the tailings down to the stockpile, I guess. Somehow, I guess by hand, or maybe they put them here and then you can transfer stockpile to stockpile. Because basically that's what they do is they, they transfer them to this stockpile, then they come down lower, transfer them to this stockpile, right? And then you keep going down, and down and down. There's another stockpile. And here we go. Here's their storage. Way down. Look how much they have. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't joking when I said they have a lot. Four, five. Got they got like twelve now? Or they almost twelve? No, with this one they would. So yeah, so this is a, a ramp free system. And eventually instead of having these uh stockpiles, they're gonna have an elevator here. Um and speaking of elevators, I am going to go to the Town Hall, because there's an elevator there now. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go do that every time. I'm not a fan of the parkour. Um, so maybe I'll just do my ramp system, but that is pretty cool. But I don't know. I'm honestly not sure what I want to do. It could go either way. I should have brought my cart and took some of this dirt back to make... Uh, was this table up for grabs? Wonder. Not to take, to use. <laughs> oh, it's a tool bench. This is a table. 
will let me link stuff. Oh, well, too. So how many ram how many ramps could I make here? Holy crap, that's a lot of ramps. Uh four. Well, so that means I'll have to bring my card over here to get them. That's fine. So I'm going to go up to the town hall and show everybody the elevator. And also, that's a pretty cool uh, storage system they got going on there. So I'll be back when I get to the elevator. So I'm sure you, the viewer, recall any other time I went to the town hall, I had to, like, climb up here and then up here. And it was, it was annoying. It wasn't fun. Now, we have an elevator. It is, where is it? Right here. So in my single player game, I never even bothered with an elevator. But it's pretty cool. So up, down. Not the fastest, to be fair. But gets you there. That's the important thing. So I can see... I can see the use in tailing storage, right? And I can see why Purple Goose did what they did. But I don't know. I'm a ramp man. Maybe, possibly. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do for my tailing storage, but I want to have a bunch of ramps ready just in case. So hey, look, here we are. Town Hall, which is coming along nicely, I must say. All the different rooms that I have access to. This is my office. That's what I'm. That's my story anyway, and I'm sticking to it. Not really. It's everybody's office, but, you know. Here's the mint and everything else. We've seen this room before. Oh, I've never been upstairs before. No, it's just the roof. <laughs> That's way less exciting. Hello, Meteor. 22 days, 14 hours. No big deal. We got this. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the town hall. Or in here, yeah. So this is where we make the laws. Or this is where Sea Guns and JD make the laws. <laughs> I'm taking no credit for any of the laws. So yeah, so while we're out and about though, I think I'm going to pop over to uh, Glove Glove's place. Because so I just want to show you, like, obviously this black is coal. So that's a lot of coal, right? But this doesn't even do it justice. I want to go over there and I want to show everybody the coal. Because it's pretty ridiculous. So I'll be back once we get over there. So yeah, this is how much coal he has. <laughs> he has a lot of coal. <laughs> to say the least. Here, I'm going to slap supply, just so we can get a better look at it here. Like, look at this coal. That is ridiculous. Oh, he's got a mushroom farm. So he started the game as a farmer. He was going to do mushroom farming. Then he realized mushrooms don't have a lot of value. And then he realized he had coal down here. And uh, yeah, and here we are. But the real funny part is if we go down to the actual coal mine, which is right here. So this is what he's this is what he's mined out already. Wait, I gotta it goes all the way back here. So this is what he's mined out already. So when I was here I was here earlier in the day talking to him and I got out my uh, my drill and drilled down just to see how much how deep the coal went. And uh yeah it goes <laughs> and it goes and it goes and it goes. So I told him, I was like, oh, hey, you're coal. It goes at least 15 deep. I was thinking I was giving him good news, but he's like, what? Like, because I think he feels the need that he has to harvest it all. So he's like, yeah, that's crazy. Because he was just, he was pumped that he managed to clear out this much of it. And yeah, he was actually <laughs> sad that it goes that deep. So go that deep over here too. Yeah, it goes pretty deep at least. No, yeah, it goes all... Oh, it's only 13 deep over there. So that's totally manageable. That'd be totally easy to clear that out. No. Anyway, so uh, Glub Glub and therefore the server is not going to be running out of coal anytime soon. And now I can take this road back home. I mean, it's not direct. But you go up, go by Sir River's place. Whose place is this? Oh, that's Hyena's place. Yeah. And then uh, then we'd be home. But before I do that, I want to go back. No, no, I'm going to go home. I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I got my anvil. I got it up in my shop here. Fortunately, 
you only need a uh, tier one for this. <laughs> so I've been putting off upgrading my house and my shop, but I'm going to have to at some point. So bank, brazier. Oh, so there's some more uh, more house stuff, cast iron stove. But I think most people already got their cast iron stoves and stuff like that. So we can make iron tools. I will probably make one of each and put it up on our store just to have What's this, boards? Yeah, we'll have to make some more boards. Iron pipes. I know pipes will, will sell, so I'll have to make some of those. Um, mint, no. Nail. We'll have to have some nails up. Maybe people probably already have their sawmills. People that wanted sawmills. Some more uh, some more uh, furniture. And then there's stuff we can't do yet, but looks like mostly more furniture. Signs. Obviously, advanced upgrades would be nice uh, once we get to that point. Oh, Reeker Bow. That's what I need. Oh, hey, and that's another use. People will have to come to me for cellulose fiber. Perfect. I'm not sure how many people are going to want that, but that's advanced smelting, and I'm not even sure if I'm planning to go into advanced smelting. After the oil thing, maybe I will. I have to go somewhere after that, so maybe it'll be there. But for now, I'm going to make sea guns, use iron pickaxe, and I'm going to deliver that. He will be happy. I hope. I'm sure he will. I'll be back. All right, so I just logged off for a while and logged back in. Uh, I was going to take my cart over this way to do some business. And look at this road. Look how done it is. This is awesome. Thank you, Glove Glove, and anybody else who contributed. I'm assuming it was mostly Glove Glove. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is awesome. Oh, you even got this section done, too. Perfect. I love the look of these asphalt roads with the lines and everything. Look at me. <laughs> Driving on the right like a good uh, good Canadian. I think we decided this server would be a right-hand drive. Right, didn't we? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. People that are on the server. I feel like we did. And if we didn't, maybe we should decide. I want to go over there. I want to check out this tunnel. Uh, that uh, I think Mecca and Glove Glove and uh, Lord and Lady Entropy all teamed up to make. Um, I've been told it's very impressive in its uh, <laughs> size. And judging by the stockpiles of stuff they created making the tunnel <laughs> over here, I'm going to say it's probably pretty impressive, yes. So I brought my cart over here because I was over here earlier and uh, I saw all this dirt. I saw an open workbench and I decided to make some, uh, some ramps, some dirt ramps for myself. So I did. So I'm not sure exactly where they went because the, the thing's up there, so I don't know. Where'd they go? I don't know. And somebody might have taken them too. But yeah, let's check out this tunnel. Let's see how long this tunnel really is. Well, so far it's pretty long. <laughs> the entropies left their thing there. All right, so that's as far as the road goes. Let's see how far the tunnel goes here. You know it's deep when, like, the horizon's kind of, <laughs> like, curling around the floor. Oh, oh, there's... There's gold in these hills. Is this more gold? And copper? Oh, so it's not done done yet. Oh, it looks like somebody's working on it over there right now. So it's not they're not quite done, but I believe the plan is it looks like they're working on it from this direction, but the plan is to come up and then over. And hey, they found multiple gold veins and a copper vein, so all that win, I guess. That's good. All right, so that's cool. So I'm going to see if I can find where these dirt ramps went. And uh, if I can find them, I'm going to take them back. And if I can't find them, maybe I'll make some more and take them back. Anyway, I'll be back with an update soon. So this, uh, my tailing storage, my temporary tailing storage is like three quarters full already. So yeah, it's definitely feeling a lot faster than it did in single player. So I am going to have to deal with this sooner rather than later. Uh, on the plus side, though, it's not making any ground pollution yet. So it's not like... I'd like to get a permanent solution before this one fills. <laughs> I don't want to have to dig another temporary one up here. But the fact that it's not polluting means there's no huge rush. Because, I mean, their solution's not polluting. They just have a little bit here. It must be from just the ones that are being stored. So, if I just dig this way, I want to dig this way, bury them under Town Hall. <laughs> and I'll dig this way so that I'm under here. So, you want to be, I think, 30 under the surface. So... I got to go up and see what what the height is here. Maybe here or whatever. Just getting a feel for what it is roughly all up here. Because I'm at 48 here, right? 
Yeah, 48. All right, so I'm going to pop up there, and we'll see what the height is, and then we will determine how far we have to dig. I'm probably just going to go too wide, just enough to get a cart down. I don't want I don't want anything too fancy. I don't care about getting a truck down there later. I just want to get a... I can take... I can take the tailings in a cart. I can leave a cart just for tailings. It'll be fine. But I'm going to go check what the height is up top there. All right, so I came up here, and it's like it's like 85, 84. It's quite high. Like where I am, although let's see where, see what here is roughly. 81, even, yeah, even this. How far, how deep does this go? Go down. Oh, wow, this is uh, quite deep for a little, little stream. Oh, I guess it's because of the waterfall, right? We don't have to worry about down there because that's not where we're going to be. Got to worry about up here. So basically, if I just dig, I think it's right about here where I am in my iron mine, right? So I just dig this way until I get to about here. Dig this way and down. Uh, I should be able to just store the tailings right there. I think. I think that should be fine. I think that'll be more than enough. So I'm going to go get started on that. I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I got started on my uh, tailing storage hallway, whatever you want to call it. And then I looked at the time, and I realized it's getting pretty late, and I should probably just go to bed instead. I think these tailings will be fine. They're not showing any pollution right now, so I, I don't think I need to, to rush. I think I can wait until tomorrow to get my more permanent tailings storage. So that's going to be just about for this one. But before we go... I realize we got uh, level three smelting. We can take a perk. I'm thinking, hmm. Do we want to go alone or do we want to go parallel? Are we going to bring in more than one? Probably not. No, let's just go alone. And we have another perk in self improvement. I'm not sure if this will actually work or it'll just be work in progress stuff though. Slightly increases movement speed in low activity areas or increase movement speed in high activity areas. Well, let's go high activity areas because I feel like as the server progresses, we'll be in high activity areas more and more probably. But anyway, with that, that'll be all for this one. So come back tomorrow. We will work on this in addition to some other projects. Uh, got some more things on the uh, anvil we can make and we will be very close to getting... Ooh, yeah, one day, one hour. We'll be very close to getting oil drilling tomorrow. If the book is done by then. They are working on it, though. We're almost there. So, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord if you'd like to join a server. Or if you just want to hang out with some like-minded, cool people. Anyway, have a good one. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.